Hello, welcome to Pompeii, Italy, right near Mount Vesuvius. We have just arrived in Pompeii this morning and lots of people do Pompeii as a day trip from Naples or from Rome, but we decided to do it a bit slower. We have arrived here this morning, we've got a hotel right near the station and our plan is to stay here for two days and we're going to do Pompeii one day and Mount Vesuvius another day. I'm pretty excited about it to be honest. You can do it all in one day but it's August, it's hot. We kind of just wanted to do it a little bit slower than that. So let's go check in. We've got a pool which is definitely needed. Oh, looking forward to the next couple of days. Good morning. Today is the day that we visit the Pompeii ruins. We stayed in Pompeii last night. We had a nice little wander into Pompeii town. Got a pizza. It was a pleasant evening and we're up nice and early. We just had breakfast at the hotel. It's about five to nine now. We booked our tickets online to Pompeii. It was 16 euros for me, for adults and under 18s are free didn't book a tour lots of advice suggested booking a tour but we're not really tour type people we like wandering around in our own time we'll see how it goes it is one minute to nine doors not opened yet and this is the queue oh just opening now If you haven't got a ticket, you need to queue up here at the ticket office. If you have, you can just go right through here. Already, it's pretty hilly. Wear sensible shoes, definitely. Meow, pretty cat. Oh, it's like, come on, keep stroking. Oh, I got no food. No. This is this little street. It's got loads of houses down one side, and like a little pavement. Water and storage and things would run all the way down here, and then they would have these stones so that they could get across to the other side without getting their feet wet or dirty which is pretty cool apparently the brothel gets very busy <laughs> to um, have a look so we've come here first or one of the first stops and already at half nine there's a queue to see it One thing I hadn't realised was just how big the ruins of Pompeii are, which seems silly to say because of course it was a whole town that was buried, but it was just such a vast area, or at least it felt like such a vast area walking around it. It's described as the town frozen in time and it really did feel like that. It was of course buried in the Mount Vesuvius eruption of 79 AD which still is an active volcano and the last eruption was back in 1944. 
In the 79 AD eruption, it's estimated around 2,000 people died in the city of Pompeii, although they think 16,000 overall, when a huge carpet of volcanic ash fell on the town. It lay underneath this carpet of ash for many, many years until in 1748, a group of explorers discovered it and it has been being excavated ever since. There were many everyday objects discovered and crazy things like preserved fruit that they found all those hundreds and hundreds of years later. The bodies, which are actually plaster casts, were a particular moment of poignancy for me the positions that they were in huddled together in the positions that they died in it was quite upsetting to be honest check out all these grapevines Stephen hiding in the shade. <laughs> it's half eleven now, it's starting to get too hot for him. We are heading away from the main Pompeii ruins area now and just going down to Villa de Mystery, which is the same name as our hotel which I didn't realise but the Villa de Mystery is a really well preserved villa just outside it's like inside the Pompeii ruins bit but it's just a little bit of a walk out and it has some amazing um, frescoes in there not impressed our hotel is there but there's no exit so we've got to walk all the way back up there and all the way around <laughs> to get to our hotel <laughs> Stephen because he has found the exit oh we can get out our hotel's just there perfect well we did our day in Pompeii and well our morning in Pompeii really we are now off out for some tea. Pompeii was really good. We've had a really nice day, actually. Pompeii was incredible, to be honest. Um, tips. Stephen, have you got any tips for Pompeii? Oh, get a, what? Don't get a tour. Don't get a tour, Don't get a tour is Stephen's tip. Um, no, I would say, make sure you get a map when you enter. Oh, let me just cross this road. Maps are available at the entrance where you can buy tickets. Make sure you get a map. We went back and got a map, I forgot. Went back and got a map and it was absolutely necessary to have that map, it kind of helped us. Because it's, as you can imagine, it's a massive, massive area. So having the map helped us like guide our way around where we wanted to go. Stephen's tippers don't get a tour. We're just not tour people and like going around and seeing people on tours even, I don't know, I guess the tours could be good for you if you're a tour type person. We are not. You can get individual tours where it's just like you and the tour guide and then you can get one where there's like 30 people. Go early. Go early, Stephen, hey? 
that's a tip go early we arrived at nine o'clock if you can get there that early definitely do that oh look at this little pussy cat hello pussy cat hello oh. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, if you can get there early, we got there at nine o'clock. I don't know how easy it is to get there for nine o'clock if you're not staying in Pompeii, but it was just so nice for the first half an hour. So, would you say, Stephen? First half an hour or so, it was really nice, nice and quiet, not a lot of crowds. And then after that, to be honest, it wasn't massively busy. There is a restriction on the numbers that can enter um, into the enter the area and so it wasn't too bad you just get every so often it turns it was like Stevens just said it was the tour groups every so often it would be like big crowds of people and it's because there's a few tour groups gathered there it's a bit of a nightmare but yeah highly recommend really interesting I will link down below where we booked our tickets from I would say if you do arrive early there is no need to pre-book your tickets because you can just walk right up to the to the ticket thing and get them yourself I don't know how busy, I'm assuming it's going to be busy, busier later on. It's a bit noisy now, isn't it, on this main road? Um, but yeah, like I said, we're heading out for tea now. We just came back. We were in there three hours or so, and I would definitely say, like, we were kind of, we spent some time, we didn't really linger at things, but uh, to me, I don't know how you could do it in any less than three hours, in all honesty. Um, yeah, we were there for three hours. We went back, had a little swim in the pool, which was nice. I've hurt my head. I banged it, we were having, me and Stephen were having a race and um, and I banged it on the side of the pool because the pool is a stupid design where the lip comes out and anyway, it's really like whacked into the side of the pool so I've got a big sore head at the moment but anyway, lovely day going out for tea just walking into like the centre of Pompeii for tea and tomorrow it is Vesuvius Good morning, it is the next morning, it's about half past eight and we are just had breakfast at the hotel and we are walking over to the bus stop. The bus comes, we think 8.45, it's an EAV bus, it's just a public bus that you get that goes up, it goes up a thousand metres up Mount, Mount Vesuvius and then you walk the rest of it yourself. So we're just making a short walk from our hotel down there. So train station is here. So this is where we got off the train when we arrived and the bus stop is just opposite where those two people are. There it is. We are here at the entrance. Whoa, look at these views. Plastic free, mysterious. The bus drops you off a thousand meters above sea level, and then you need to buy your ticket for the Suvius National Park down before you get here, because there's not much signal up here. I'll link where we got it from down below. Oh, this is quite steep. I'm getting a bit out of breath. Uh, yeah, buy tickets down there. They are 10 euros each. And the bus to get here is 360 each way that you pay the guy on the bus. He drops you off. And then you walk the rest of the way yourself. Whew. It's a bit steep, eh? Wow, look at that sweetness. This is going to be terrible. Whoa. There's lots of lizards around here. I don't know if you can tell this, but this is pretty steep. Whoa. It's amazing now. Walking up Pump Vesuvius, it seems kind of crazy that that's what we're doing right now. So as I said before, this is still an active volcano and it felt kind of weird to 
be walking up an active volcano, I've got to be honest. It is the only active volcano on mainland Europe. Me and Stephen were just trying to understand what we were looking down on. And we realised that just right there is our hotel. It's Naples. And our hotel from Naples is just there because the ship, the GNVDV or something it says on it, that docks at the port every day that you will have seen if you watched our Naples video. It's just there. Oh yeah, there's Castle Uvo. Well, we were going to go to Castle Uvo, we didn't. And now, an emergency vehicle. Add something nice to it. Whoa. There is a little shop here. Oh. See the shop? You can get all sorts there. A drink, a glass of wine, some water, some rocks, some party postcards, whatever. It's also where you meet your guides. It's the guide meeting point for the big crater. Up ahead. Whoa. Whoa. We can see smoke coming out of the box. Well, Stephen saw it and has pointed it out to me. I don't think you want to see it, but there's smoke coming out of the box. And they have in place, the Italian government have in place massive emergency evacuation plans that I found quite interesting to read about. They think that they would have about two to three weeks notice of an eruption. In the evacuation plan, there's 600,000 people who live in the red zone. Although there are millions and millions of people living within kind of 20 kilometers, but I'm assuming they think that those people would be okay, they wouldn't need to be evacuated. But these 600,000 people that live in the Red Zone, they would be evacuated by you know, train, car, boat, bus. It would take about seven days to complete the evacuation process. It's pretty insane how built up this area is. It's so close to be serious. Just over there, in the distance, is our next destination, Sorrento. And then it looks like just up ahead here is the end of the Grand Cognac Trail. So this bit here, you can't go any further unless you have a guide. Although to be honest, the path looks a bit dodgy. Well, to be honest, there isn't really a path, is there? <laughs> yeah, so this is a tour group that are going through with their guide. Now time to make our way back down. It is 10.53, so that's almost an hour and a half for us to get one way. It's 
it's busy now with people going over. It's about 20 past 11. I'm glad we were here early for the busyness and for the weather. And we have made it back down. It's a bit busier now at this time of day, at this bit. Lots of little mini buses and things bringing people up. Our bus is here. They say there's lollies, but. Oh, did you? There's some crazy driving situations going on up here with taxis and minibuses and coaches and buses and... Grazie. Ciao. Left. Other side. We are back from our time up Mount Vesuvius. Both of us really enjoyed it. It was a fantastic experience, fantastic thing to have done. We've actually just been by the pool for a few hours and there's a bit of a storm rolling in so we've just come inside. I think that about wraps up our time in Pompeii and Vesuvius. Tomorrow we are heading over to Sorrento where, we'll, we'll, where we will be exploring the Amalfi Coast. We'll be going to Positano and just relaxing for a week or so so check those videos out when they do come out thank you so much for watching this one if you have any questions about pompeii mount vesuvius leave them down below and i'll do my best to help out also just check out the description because i will put any sort of links and things down there that may help you thanks so much for watching and i will see you soon bye bye